Welcome back to the Killer Keyboard channel. Today we're having a look at the new Glorious Link Switches. These are a linear switch that come in lubed or unlubed variants. I bought the unlubed version because I don't trust factory lubing. I've always found it to be inconsistent. However, it's a nice option to have. The shiny box looks pretty killer and it gives a premium feel. But let's see if they perform as good as they look. Here I just want to point out that they designed this to be a quiet switch. Spoiler alert, they're not that quiet. You're better off getting silent switches if you're after that. The switch is made out of a PC upper housing, a POM stem, a 60 gram nickel plated spring, a nylon bottom housing, and I must say the QC is very good. No signs of manufacturer defects like flaky bits and loose bits and bobs. And the leaf sits tightly, unlike the Zelios V2. Now let's compare the difference in lube and all that. I'll compare it with the alpaca since it's made out of the same materials. So straight out of the box, I feel like you need to lube these switches. I don't think many people use unlubed switches anyways, but trust me, they sound pretty bad and need some lube and oil on the springs. Here's an example of the spring ping warning there is going to be a loud sound. I personally didn't hear too much of a difference with film, so I didn't film them and the wobble on the stem isn't too bad either, so not necessary. So with that said and done, let's listen to the unlube vs lube typing test. JWKs such as the alpacas are known to have a very clacky sound signature, but the Lynx just takes it to another level. So what do I like about these switches? With some lube, these switches are very smooth. I would say they're pretty close to alpacas depending on how you lube them, but also the 60 gram spring plays a part. The lube took out most of the scratch and is the tiniest scratchier compared to alpaca, but nowhere near as scratchy as the Ink Black V2s or the NK Cream. The teal colour looks really good and I like that they're always in stock. If you're willing to pay the extra price for a factory loop, then it's nice to have that option. Now moving on to what I don't like about the switch, just remember this is my personal preference. I feel like it's too high pitched and too clacky, but a muted clacky. I feel like it belongs in a pre-built keyboard and it sounds a little bit cheap. Secondly, the price per switch is $1.08, Australian dollars that is, versus $0.87 cents for the alpaca which does come factory lubed with a bit of oil. Factory lubed oil is more consistent than grease, and switches over $1 is less common nowadays. And if you want the lubed version, it will cost you $1.53, and yeah nah mate. When we compare the price alone, I have to give it to the alpacas. At 87 cents a switch, it comes factory lubed with oil which is a bit more consistent and I feel like you can get away without lubing them as well. Honestly, I think Glorus deserves some recognition for dipping their hands into the custom mechanical keyboard world. They have the ability to mass produce quality products but just need to refine their designs and make them a little more original. I think Glorus should focus on producing amazing products that speak for themselves instead of focusing on the marketing aspect. Anyhow, they are the leading example of what we could expect from big names. I'm keen to see what Razer can come up with. So to conclude, is this a killer switch? Not really. 
If the price was way cheaper, then I could recommend it to you guys. Just for fun, I swapped the stems in each other's housing, so stick around at the end to listen to that. And if you didn't like the video, let me know in the comments. That's all from Killer Keyboards. Adios. Stop it.